Have you ever been browsing Reptile Classifieds and come across confusing numbers or abbreviations like 1.0 or PH? Well, today I'm going to be explaining to you what all of those stand for so that next time you'll know exactly what you're looking at. First, this is our Texas rat snake that is scaleless. As you can see, he has no scales, or very few scales rather, on his sides. He's a beautiful specimen of the scaleless morph, and he's actually the grandfather of the babies we recently hatched out. He was cruising behind me in some other video, and somebody mentioned they wanted to see him, so he'll be joining us for today's video. Let's start with those numbers. In reptile sales ads, you'll often see two or three numbers, each divided with a dot in between, and these values represent the quantity of each sex or gender of the reptile that's available. The first value represents the number of males that are available, and the second number represents the number of females. For example, if you see an ad that says 2.3 ball pythons available, that means that the breeder has two males and three females available. Now these numbers, these values, only refer to the quantity and sexes of each mutation or each species of reptile. Basically, you can't mix multiple morphs or species into the same listing with those numbers. For example, I can't say I have 2.3 albino and normal bull snakes available because that doesn't specify which ones are albino and which ones are normal. Instead, I would have to say I have 1.2 albinos and 1.1 normals available. So basically, I have to use two separate lines to differentiate or separate the morphs. Occasionally you'll see a third number and it's that third value that represents the number of unsexed reptiles that's available. For example, if you saw 2.1.4 ball pythons available, that would mean that the breeder has two males, one female, and four unsexed ball pythons available. Basically, those snakes in the third value are just being sold without their sex being known. That pretty much covers the numbers portion, or the numbers that you'll see in sales ads, so let's move on to the abbreviations next. The first abbreviation I'd like to explain to you is WC, and WC simply stands for wild caught, meaning that the reptile originally came from the wild. That can be compared to CB, which stands for captive born, and captive born means the reptile was simply born in captivity instead of being wild caught. I found that even for snakes that lay eggs, the term CB is used more than CH, although you'll occasionally still see CH out there, but for the sake of this video and most reptile ads you'll see, we're just going to refer to them all as CB, meaning captive born or captive hatched. CB, or captive born, doesn't necessarily mean that the reptile was also bred in captivity though. There's a chance that the breeder may have acquired a gravid or pregnant female reptile from the wild, brought it into captivity, and then it gave birth or laid eggs shortly afterwards. Those babies would technically be captive born, but they were not captive bred. The breeder did not pair up two adults and breed them successfully and then get the babies. They just kind of lucked out and got a pregnant female right from the wild. So to ensure that the reptile was actually bred in captivity as well, you really want to look for CBB. This stands for captive born and bred. Unfortunately, many times breeders will only list their reptiles as CB babies when they actually should say CBB uh, because they were legit bred in captivity as well. And I think it's just not very well known to use that second letter B. So basically, if you are looking at a reptile that's very commonly bred in captivity like corn snakes or ball pythons, and the listing only says CB babies, you can pretty much assume that they're actually CBB or captive bred and born. Whereas if you're looking at a species of reptile that's still frequently taken from the wild and the listing says CB, then there's probably a good chance that it was bred in the wild but born in captivity. So it actually is a CB or captive born only reptile. When in doubt though, just ask the seller and if they are a reputable breeder, they will tell you exactly where the reptile was born and bred. The last abbreviation is a little bit more confusing and it's PH, which stands for possibly het. That means that the reptile is possibly het or heterozygous for a recessive genetic trait. For example, if I had a reptile that was PH scaleless, that would mean that I have a reptile for sale that is potentially het for the scaleless recessive trait. Usually there is a percentage number that is associated with the letters PH, and the percentage tells you what percentage or what chance there is that the snake for sale is actually het for that genetic trait. So for example, if I had a snake for sale that was 66% PH scaleless, that would mean that that snake has a 66% chance of being het scaleless. 
I think that pretty much covers all of the numbers and abbreviations that you'll see in reptile sales ads, so hopefully that helps you out when you are shopping for reptiles like I often do. And here is your quiz to go home with. Say I hypothetically have 1.0.5 50% pH albino hognose snakes. What does that mean? Comment below what that means I would hypothetically have available for sale, and the first person to guess it right, I will pin your comment to the top. Don't just scroll down and see the pinned post and spoil the fun. Comment first and then check your answer and see how close you were. Thanks for watching today's video, and we'll see you next time.